हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन स्केच अप टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन फॉर बिगनर्स आई एम आर्किटेक्ट सोनू राय फ्रॉम ग्लैड स्टूडियो एंड इन दिस स्टूडियो वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट रेलिंग प्लग इन दैट इज मैज रेल एंड यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम स्केच अप वेयर हाउस सो इफ यूल गो टू योर एक्सटेंशन हेयर एंड यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दिस एक्सटेंशन वेयर हाउस and then you can look for match rail and if you click here you can see this is the match rail and you can download it free so you can create some basic shapes of railing very easily in sketchup so this is a sketchup plugin and it is compatible with sketchup 2021 20 2019 18 16 and 30 till 13 also you can uh make railings using this and now this is this is the developer name so now you can install it from here you can click install and then it is asking do you want to install this extension after that you can install this yes and now we have, since this is already downloaded so after downloading you can install it in your system so for this you can uh, go to here extension and then you can go to extension manager and then you can install uh, this material where you have saved this you can click this install extension and can go to the folder where you have saved this material so uh, i have already downloaded so now i am going to teach you how you can use this material so now i am going to draw a railing path here and now i am going to my extension and i am going to select match rail and you can see this is the rail height 2 ft 6 in by default and this is the rail type a and if you click this they can see a b c d e f g h there are some s till h types of railings and you can uh, do this settings of run offset and perpendicular offset i will tell you what is this so now i am going to make this height as 3 ft and i am going to select type a and i will click okay and then after this you can uh, see here it is telling select first rail pole position so i am going to select this is my first pole position and you can see there are some uh, commands here number plus x so you can enter how many poles you are required using this number and x and number plus e to create railing and arrow keys also you can select so now i i have clicked on this point so you can see this a low this is for railing and i am going to uh select this end point here and now i am going to enter uh four x here so you can get four poles here and after this uh, you can see this is yellow uh, red line here and you can double click here to get rid of this and you can see this railing is created so now i am going to my second type here i will make another line here and you can go to extension here and you can select match rail and you can select type here and you can keep this height only and i am going to click okay and now i am going to select this end point and this end point and i am now i am going to enter 4e so it will automatically create railing when you will enter see this is the type b of railing then we'll move to next type c here and i'm going to draw another line here and i am going to my extension here and i will go to match rail and i am going to type c here and i will click okay and now i am going to click on this end point and this end point and if you will uh, not uh, double click this you can see this red line so it is better to double click so that your railing with this is the glass railing for type c moving to our next types i am going to create another line here and if you go here you can see this match rail and you can select type d here i'm going to click okay and 
is telling that this type of rail is available on the paid version paid version price is the usd so you can uh, download this paid versions on the website of this major rail so you can get only three types of free version so now this is glass rail and you can create some basics railing using these three types so now i am going to create another jig jack step here and suppose you are making some complex steps like this so how you can do this i'm going to my extension here and i'm going to select manage rail and i'm going to select type of c here and i'm going to click ok and now i'm going to select on this endpoint and i will click on this endpoint and you can see this red line and you can follow this so now after this you can again see this red line so i am going to double click here so that it will be end here so you can see this is our glass railing so you can use in your project so how we can make on stairs so i am going to my extension here and i am going to select my rail and i am going to keep this height only and i am going to select uh, type a here and you can see this is the run offset of uh, 0 inch and perpendicular offset so if you will give uh, some value here so suppose i am going to give 4 inch here so whenever you will click it will take offset 4 inch so suppose i am going to select here i am going to select majorel and i am going to give a value of run offset 4 inch and i am going to select here can see it is taking 4 inch from our mouse you can see this is 4 inch now i can uh, again select on next point you can see this is 4 inch offset the next point and likewise you can create railings for your staircase and it is taking 4 inch offset and you can follow like this and I'm going to finish it till here and I'm double clicking this and now you can see our staircase railing is formed here so it is very easy and useful plugin and it will save you a lot of time and likewise you can create a uh, railing for your spiral also you can go to extension manage rail and now i'm going to take a perpendicular offset so i'm going to make a perpendicular offset so that you can understand so now i'm going to click on here you can see this is taking four inch offset from on the left or right side so it is taking on right side four inch offset so likewise you can use this offsets here so i am going to uh, make a run offset here inch and i will click on here then i am clicking here 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 and i will double click here and you can see this is the railing which we have found here so this is very easy to use this merge railing and you can download the free version and you can make three types of railings in this case of for paid version you can go to uh, the uh, websites developer websites and you can download it by paying some amount so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in this case so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye